So I'm preparing for a color painting on double shen paper. I use uh, uh, Chinese white, rose, and the rouge for the flowers. And for, for the leaves, we can just use the ink. Too, you know, yeah, you can you, you can want, come closer. You can come, come 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 closer if you want. You can bring your chairs. Maybe. Yeah, you can just extra chairs or bring your own chairs. Yeah. Let me focus on my canvas. Did he say he's a two colors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't understand. Okay, so. Oh, else we could. I can't. So, rose and rose? Uh, rose color, yeah. But it has two different colors. Two different colors. Two different colors. Am I standing right in front of the other? I think, I think oh, that's what you said in your video. There's rouge and there's a rose color that they have it. Yeah, no, rose. Uh, That's called rose. Rose, yeah. And rouge is a different can, color. Can, okay, Both sorry, red. Both colors, red. Yeah. But <laughs> this is this is a. Should I just put it here? This is rose. Right. Okay. And uh, this is a uh, rouge. Ooh, more so like more crimson. Like crimson. Uh, more like darker. Yeah. Dark. Yeah. Dark. Brown. Uh, so uh, yeah. another is, is ro uh, white. So let me uh, load the brush. So this is uh, how I load it. Uh, this, is, uh, no, this is the dark one. I, I want to use the light. Sorry, I got the rouge in it. That's the accident. Uh, so you got the white and the rouge. And then so he loaded it. But for people that from light to dark, in a gradation. Starting with white. So I went from white, so the, the heel of the brush is uh, white, okay? and then the uh, rose, the third color is uh, rouge, it's uh, very dark, deep, deep red. Okay. But Henry, it's diluted white though, you said it was like a cream, not, not real thin. Uh, yeah, it's like a, uh, you, you diluted the white into skim milk or yeah. maybe some uh, milk. Yeah. Kind of. then, uh, yeah, yeah, you have to dilute it, otherwise it's too uh, thick. Okay, so uh, remember my pattern is a triangle, a triangle shape. And, but you don't repeat the same triangle, so you, you kind of uh, change directions. So I try to make an abstract uh, thingy first. So start to... Uh, Deviate from the triangle. So I, I change the size. So in the beginning, I my dark is on, on the top side. Now I, when I do the outer, uh, the dark is on the edge. So always on the edge, but you know when it's uh, down. It's, this is a double shine, so it's very absorbent. I use a soft brush. It takes uh, more moisture. You know. Again. So what side are you doing on the smooth side? Uh, it's on the smooth side. Yeah. Always on the smooth side. Always handmade. So a little bit white again. Root, uh, rose and uh, maybe this time less rouge because uh, it will be different flowers. And just do. Um, depends on my posture. You know, it could be uh, hold differently, but uh, I just try to. Avoid blocking views. So just whatever I hold, I just go with that uh, position. Basically, but try to I reload a little bit to the front. So my I I can add this dark accent now because it's side view. Uh, side view. And, uh, you can make up this by breaking the light. So this could be a smaller, you can enlarge it, make it a little bigger. But you know, don't make it too round. The rose is not round. The rose, rose is not a round flower. Peony, maybe other flowers are uh, 
Uh, I saw some hydrangea with wizard <laughs> uh, on the street next year we'll do hydrangeas. Um, so double chain is a thirsty, very thirsty flavor. So I, uh, when the brush is thirsty, it goes slower, and you can add moisture to it. It's too dry. Um, and let's do another. So with the butt, you can do down stroke like that, right? And you can add a little top. So let me change the brush to uh, some white here to see that. I used larger brush to treat this paper because <laughs> um, larger brush may help to deliver more, I mean, last longer. Otherwise, you just dry too fast. Right? So uh, let me use this side for, for the dark. Um, we can mix a little bit color in it, or we can just keep it pure ink. Uh, this profile uh, kind of hanging, like we experimented with the, the sun, sun shadow. So this is a one group, right? like five, uh, five leaf per stem. This is the, the stem. Right? So the, a four four view is like that. Uh, normally the front is the biggest. If you look at the real floor, then the smaller uh, near the the trunk. Uh, trunk, yeah, mm -hmm. and. Uh, the size of the is in between. I try to avoid this kind of uh, stripe in, in the stroke, essentially. So you, you dip a little water to soft the brush tip. And you can do a calligraphy move like a uh, tip. Um, you can combine, very important to combine groups to form a new shape, uh, overlap. Yeah, one behind. You don't have to do all, all the time uh, four, um, four view of uh, this kind of thing. Uh, Combining groups to use yeah, different you, value? You, you vary the value, exactly. Yeah. That's very important. So separate the two groups. Yeah. So this is, this is how I complete this. Uh, so this downward, the cats goes up, right? so then this, this goes down again, and the uh, stand. You can use a little root to blend it, to make it look, look like a tender, tender branch, right? And to another uh, one well, that's coming up for the next month, maybe. So this way, uh, we won't do any flower, just, just a triangle of arrow shape. Light, I can do the stem first. This is one should uh, maybe after the leaves, you can go behind the leaves. If you do this dark stem chunk first, uh, it's hard to cover. So, but this one is good, uh, you, you can cover it using the leaves in front of it. This paper absorbent. You know, uh, let, let it, let it uh, press a little longer. The, the leaves on top, there's a just single stroke, maybe two stroke. And, uh, uh, this one, yeah. So to make it uh, just 
you know, to squeeze out, to define the cutting in the flowers. <laughs> I used the heel also to exhaust it. And this part is kind of, oops, I forgot this is not a magnetic board. <laughs> we use the double magnet like that. Um, so this is difficult. Um, you don't have any stand just to really, this is like off focus, so you, you want to do, push it to the background. So just add to more water, more water. When it's wet, you do very fast. So just you can some little dark to add to wet into it, so it's kind of blurry, like off focus. It's not necessarily lose the, the sense of stroke or the bone when we call it bone stroke. It's not boneless. It's, it still has strokes. to the uh, center with the calic uh, with the same and you can if you uh, like with a uh, white yellow or in this case I may just use a uh, dark rouge. Use the same color uh, to a little. Oh, someone uh, told me a new word was that uh, ser serotion? Serration. Serration. <laughs> Serration. Oh. Serration, right? <laughs> okay, uh, that's a characteristic of a ro ro uh, rose leaves. Serration. 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 Very good. Serration uh, on the edge of the, the rose uh, leaves. Uh, you can use this kind of dot. It's a make a very low rose like. I use a big brush, but you can use a small brush, like a stiff brush. Um, but if you could, you use a one stroke finish, you just use one. If you change brush, sometimes the chi, the energy flow, may interrupt. So, you mean without switching brushes? Yeah, uh, without switching brushes, you yeah. keep better continuation, continuity, uh -huh. yeah, and coherent. But, you know, this is a little, should be really blurry. Just leave this. Uh, and leave this is fine. And all the, all the so just like camera, you have focus and half focus. This is okay without definition. Uh, you can add more. This kind of uh, uh, shade. shade. Shaders. Mm 
But don't, don't wash. You know, still, still uh, structure. Same as it is. Just do a shot signature. We can sign on here. I do English and radio. Chinese. We also consider this is red, red, and maybe a red stamp on here would be and a, a nice triangle. So just sign right here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. my name. Mm -hmm. Basically, we play with the uh, triangles. This red seal is another red uh, spot on the triangle of this three. Mm -hmm. This also you can consider this one two and three. You have to adjust the tip. In the beginning, uh, the tip is hidden, and then you kind of uh, like a dot, and then twist. Uh. Oh, uh huh. Huh. <laughs> too many. Okay. Too many. Too many thorns. Thorns. Too many. Yeah, exactly that. I don't want to pick that. Wow. <laughs> And it's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is, yeah, I tried to, to simplify uh, the color by uh, kinds. So the color for the flower does, does not necessarily go into the ink to the leaf. A little bit is fine, but uh, try to uh, color it based on different uh, uh, subject matters or uh, parts. So uh, the you know, the, the leaf is ink or very different colors, so they don't uh, mix each other. If you paint the orange uh, orange color flower and orange color leaf, you will be confusing. So I rather use, you know, uh, blue, gray ink uh, for the leaves or just pure ink. Hendaya. Did I say it right? Hendaya. Hendaya, Hendaya. yeah. Means elegant? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. That's true. Yes. Okay. Um, do you want to try this paper yourself? Okay. okay. Go ahead. Uh, and you may remember to use a lot of water. <laughs> oh. uh, since you everybody here, we, can we take a picture? Uh, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.